Hello everybody, I am Sultim, welcome back to another video on my channel, and today I'm doing another tier list video, and today I'm doing episode 2 sets tier list. So, there are a lot less episode 2 sets that Star Wars has made, LEGO has made for Star Wars, than any other episode of Star Wars. Now, I don't know if this is because there's less style of sets that they could make, because the first half of the film that is quite difficult to make sense of, and the second half of the film there isn't really much in. So, the sets that they have made are basically everything that they probably could, with a few exceptions, which I will talk about in my next video this week, of episode 2 sets that I think should be remade, or made in general. So, episode 2 sets idea is coming out Thursday this week. So, what have we got here? So, first up we have the Geonosian Starfight, a very good set. I do think that the one that we got with the Clone Wars was better, however I do think this is a good set nonetheless. However, it is also nothing special, so I'm going to put it about mid-range at B tier. The Hailfire Droid isn't anything special, and I have no specific affiliation with it, so it's not bad. But, however, since we don't have an E or an F tier, because none of these sets really are E's or F's, so I'm only going to put that at D tier. Now this, A-A-T-T-E, uh, this is not that great. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too big of a fan of it, and I don't have the nostalgia for it, so it's just not my cup of tea. This poly bag can go at the bottom. It's not a good poly bag. It's, it included uh, the lieutenant that we saw in a different set that had leg printing, and this one doesn't have leg printing, so... Here we go, this is the set that he's in. This one has leg printing, this one doesn't. Which one would you rather have, the one with the actual set? and figures, or this exclusive one, which isn't very exclusive. Then we have the duel with Yoda and Count Dooku. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty bad set. It doesn't have anything in it, and it's not very special. Now this Tusken Raider Escape, I think, is a C tier, due to the fact that it does include the Tusken Raiders and Anakin does kill them. I think this set could have been better if they included a little hut and maybe a Shmi Skywalker. However, they could always remake this set if LEGO was a lot less concerned about being child-friendly due to the fact that a load of men, women and children get killed by Anakin. Next up we have the Bounty Hunter Pursuit, which I think is a set which is long overdue for a remake. However, I do think it doesn't quite make it up to the A or even the beta. It's just it's a good set, it's just old, therefore it doesn't have a lot of the design that a lot of the newer sets have. Now here we have Obi-Wan's Starfighter, which really isn't as good as some of the newer Obi-Wan Starfighters, however it's not that bad of a set. And then here we have another set that does need a remake, and that is Jango Fett Slave 1. A nice set, but a really old set, and just does not stand to today's Slave 1s. Now we have the Republic Gunship, which did include Jedi Bob, right there, I think, if you might just about be able to make out in this very small low quality photo, that's Jedi Bob in the Republic Gunship from 2002, I think, which is rather interesting. Then we have this lovely battle pack, which is better than just one clone trooper. And it does include two droidicas, which I personally like. I know quite a lot of people don't like this type of droidicas, but I do like them. Now we have this Corporate Alliance tank droid, which is an amazing set. It includes Django Fett, a clone trooper, and a Geonosian battle droid, as well as the Corporate Alliance tank droid. I think the minifigure selection in the Clone Wars one was probably, well, was a lot better. However, this is still a good one nonetheless. This lovely uh, homing spider droid is an amazing set. However, uh, I think that should probably... Actually, I think Corporate Alliance, tank, Corporate Alliance Tank Droid should probably stay here. There we go. The Homing Spider Droid is a really good set. It includes Stasa Lee, a Clone Trooper, and a Super Bottle Droid, and a Dwarf Spider Droid. So I think it's a really nice set. I did used to have a problem with this bit of the bottom falling off, but that has stopped happening. So it's not a problem anymore. This Geonosian Jewel, amazing set. It includes Yoda... Poggle the Lesser, Count Dooku, with it, which all look amazing, as well as Count Dooku's pilot. I think the little play feature where you can put Yoda on a stick and spin him about is pretty cool. I mean, it's weird as hell, but it, it works, and it's a play feature. 
I do think that should probably be an A tier, though, not quite an S tier. What is an S tier, however, is this gunship. Best gunship the LEGO has released so far. They're going to be releasing another one next year, hopefully, which is going to be the UCS one, which is going to look amazing. So it will completely blow this one out of the water, hopefully. And hopefully it will be more of a Clone Wars style one with the two doors as opposed to the one door and the bubble turret like you can see in this photo. This ATT, amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. It includes Coleman, Trevor, Mace Windu, a yellow Phase 1 clone trooper, which I think is a lieutenant or a sergeant or something. Not a sergeant or a lieutenant. Commander. It's probably Commander. And two Genotion Battle Droids, one of which is a commander, and I think that is an amazing set. I really wish I had it because it is an amazing ATT, and I really would like another ATT from LEGO. Next up, we do have well, we do have this what's it called? Hailfire Droid, which does include that blue clone that we see right here, and I think it's a really nice set, and I think it's a very mid tier set down to everything that we have here. The build is amazing. I really do wish I had some because I don't actually have a lot of these sets. However, I do really like the minifisica selection and the droid build in this set. I really like the technique they did with the wheels there. Obi-Wan Starfighter. Amazing. Obi-Wan Starfighter and Hyperdrive Ring, rather. Includes Boba Fett, Django Fett, Obi-Wan and R4P17. Or R I think that's what it's called. And it is amazing. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Amazing. And finally, we have the Kyoji Mundi and Barasofi Clone Troopers Battle Back. Awful set, I really wish they'd included them in, say, a £30 set instead of the like £12 Battle Back, which really isn't ideal. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that. They're lovely minifigures, and I do have the set. I think it's a really nice set, however, I don't think it's a Battle Pack, which is the main issue I have with it. I can build an army of these clones and these droidikas. I cannot build an army of Kili Mundis and Barasofis. I'm sorry. But that's it for this video. This is a very short video because there's very few sets in this. So thank you all very much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Goodbye.